Hello there, I'm Dr. Man, and I'm here to help you all learn about different methods of protecting yourself from unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections, also known as STIs. Some of you may be starting to think about sex or having sex. All of these feelings and urges are perfectly normal, and it's important to understand the variety of options you have to protect your sexual health. Your first option, and the most commonly used, are condoms. There are two types of condoms, external and internal. Unlike many other forms of contraceptives, condoms reduce the risk of STIs as well as unwanted pregnancies. Both condoms serve as a barrier to prevent semen from entering your partner. External condoms do this by covering the penis and internal condoms are inserted into the vagina or rectum. You can find external condoms at any drugstore or health clinic and internal condoms on websites, local pharmacies and health centres. It's important to keep in mind that the external condom and the internal condom cannot be used at the same time. But wait! There's more! Behold! The ring, the patch and the shot! All of these contraceptives prevent ovulation but also require a doctor's recommendation. Each of these contraceptives are effective for different lengths of time. The patch just sticks to you, allowing the hormones to be absorbed through the skin. The ring is inserted into the vagina to release hormones. And the shot injects the hormones directly into your bloodstream. So much information! Here we have the pill. The pill is like a medication taken once a day every day around the same time. They release hormones that stop ovulation and require a doctor's prescription. The options! They keep coming! There are two types of long-acting reversible contraceptives. IUDs, intrauterine devices, and implants. IUDs are small T-shaped devices that can consist of plastic, hormonal, or copper non-hormonal options. IUDs are inserted into the vagina and planted into the uterus. This device stops eggs from being released monthly and can last up to 3 to 12 years. The second long-acting reversible contraceptive is the implant. The implant is a small, flexible rod that is inserted under the skin of your upper arm. It releases a hormone that prevents the ovaries from releasing eggs. Both of these contraceptives require a doctor to insert them and can be removed at any time. Wouldn't you know it, there's even more! Withdrawal, also known as the pull-out method, involves removing the penis from your partner before ejaculation. However, keep in mind withdrawal is one of the more risky methods of contraceptives with much room for human error, which can cause unwanted pregnancies. Withdrawal also does not protect you against STIs. That's risky business. Only one more to go. If you don't feel like you're ready to engage in sexual behaviours, that's okay. You can always use abstinence and say no. Even if you've had sex already, you can choose to remain abstinent thereafter. Now that you're knowledgeable of the various forms of contraception, you're better prepared to protect yourself from STIs and unwanted pregnancies. If you have any questions about these contraceptives, talk to a trusted adult or your healthcare provider like me for more information. Stay safe out there.